Hey everyone, thanks for joining. Let's see what we can get done today. This is part three of a series building red, yellow, green, which is an open source tool. Let me bring that up. It's on the GitHub. GitHub.vandevere or slash Vandevere red, yellow, green, just like a traffic light. And the purpose of this tool is a social quality platform. So it can help me understand if I put out content on TikTok, YouTube, and Insta, what is red meaning it's bad everywhere, yellow meaning it went viral somewhere but not consistently across channels, and green meaning everyone loves it all the time. And this will facilitate high quality content creation and also later we'll be feeding it into an AI so we can ensure that this AI is trained on the basis of high quality content only. Garbage in, garbage out, we want to produce a textbook basically and some other stuff, but I wanna make sure it's a high quality textbook so I want to make sure that the training data is optimal. Cool. In a previous stream, we made this repurpose scraper, which produces this CSV data. And in the current stream, we want to make our runtime consume that. So here I am inside the repository VS Code on Windows. I'm going to CD up a level and I will blitz dev to start my dev server. I'm going to open up the Prisma schema over here. And we're going to take advantage of chat GPT. Oh, there might be a couple things I need to fix on this. Uh, in this data before we really get going. Uh, I think we can I think we can get going with this data. So the problem here is that uh, when we scraped pages, every time we changed pages, the IDs would reset. So the IDs are not actually unique. Um, there's like multiple items that have an ID of, oh no, and we solved that because we went for the TikTok URL as the ID. Okay, so the TikTok URL is the ID. Yeah, I think that pretty much solves the problem. Plus, we sort it into alphabetical order. So I think we're good. Never mind. So I will still take a few rows of this, and I'm going to ask GPT to create the Prisma command. Consider the following um, CSV snippet. Um, what CLI command should I run to blitz generate all for a social or a uh, um, social media content entity that captures these CSV columns? Let's see if it can understand that. The blitz generate all command is used to generate a full stack model, CRUD pages, tests, and more in a blitz.js application. It's fantastic that it understood that. I'm so glad. And so it basically prepares that for me. Published at, it knows it's a date time. Current page is a number. Scraped at is a date time. Great. So I'm going to copy this. I started up the server, but I actually need to immediately kill it so that I can run this. Cool. And this should generate the model and the web pages. Okay, so we created social media contents. Looks like it's happy enough. Run migrate on the database? Sure.
Okay, so now I want to, oh, the database schema is not empty. Hmm. Maybe I can DB push. Okay, that might have worked. Your database is now in sync with your Prisma schema, it says, okay. I'm gonna control A right arrow so it drops me to the bottom and I can see this is the entity that got created. We got created at, updated at, TikTok URL. Looks fine, looks good to me. So now, um, I wanna do two things. First of all, I want to update the index page here. Oh, this is the scraper index. I wanna, in, I wanna update my web page index which is gonna be under source pages index. I wanna update this so that it has a link to um, the social media content page. Let me just sort of naively create another link right here. So this if else is if they're logged in. So if there is a user, we give them a logout button. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna wrap this in the um, conditional so that they have to be logged in to see it. Here, I'm going to test routes. I just hit the period key and I wanna see auto complete completion. And here I do not see um, the social media pages that I would like to see. It could be the case that my types in memory are outdated. So I'm gonna control click, bring me here. Yeah, there's social media contents page. Don't say far niente says TypeScript. That's correct. That is correct. Sith and Sith and clear. How do you say that? That's cool. I know Prismatic is a DB. So Prisma is an ORM, an object relational mapper. So it connects to the DB. It's not a DB itself. So it's going to connect to the Vercel Postgres, uh, but it's going to allow us to map on types and models basically in our JavaScript code. So we're not having to write raw SQL. Thanks for being here, y'all. Okay, so now this page is recognized. And I don't want it to say log in, I want it to say mm, social media um, contents list. Okay, so we'll save that. Waiting for my VS code to indicate that the save got propagated. What's this code for? What's this code for? Um, it's for red, yellow, green, an open source project to make social media content better. So here's the repository. Quick reminder, if you're on TikTok, you can go to YouTube in my bio and see the full screen. But basically it's going to make this website over here, right? So you can log in over here. And if you look at the URL, this one says red, yellow, green .app. So this is production. This is not the uh, local one that I'm working on. Let's go over to the local one. That would be here. Been reading up on TypeScript. It looks cool. TypeScript is so great, y'all. I love it. Just taking a little bit of time. When you start the server up locally, it takes a little bit of time. Let me check the network tab. Yeah. And I get this um, dynamic server usage error. So I'm going to, while I'm working, I'm going to ask Blitz co or um, Bing Copilot to kind of like figure out what's going on with that. How would you compare it to Laravel? It's similar to Laravel for for TypeScript. Yeah, I prefer I prefer TypeScript. I prefer Blitz. Um, TypeScript over PHP. I don't want to get into all the reasons for that, but basically, like. Uh, learning curve, jobs, and ability, like all of them, are reasons that TypeScript is better. And yeah. How do I solve? Oh no, what? It submitted my, uh, how do I solve? Um, in TypeScript. 
I'm using blitz.js. Not looking for a battle, cool. Yeah, it's all love. Uh, but I think it's kind of similar, kind of similar to Rails as well, right? It's like, if you go to blitz.js.com, it used to talk about Rails. I don't know if it does that anymore. Yeah, it doesn't. But the message used to be like, batteries included, just like Rails for TypeScript or something like that. But they changed it now. It's a wrapper around next. Okay, cool. So here we are on localhost. What I would like to do is log in and then test the button. So we're going over here, john at ladderly.io, john at ladderly.io. I think it's foo bar one, two, three. Feel free to hack me if I remembered it right. Okay, apparently I didn't. So I'll need to sign up. Uh, it's, it might tell me that I already exist. Oh, no, okay. Oh, because I, I, uh, I pushed the database, right? So I kind of wiped it. Social media contents list. Now I can see the button, let's click it, boom. It takes me here, and this is expected, right? It's, it's currently ugly, but that's just kind of, that's just kind of how it goes. Um, I would like a back to home, what is going on here? Okay, so I'm gonna control, uh, shift F, control V, enter. We're looking for where it came up with this thing. So it's here in schemas.ts. This is wild. Social media contents, schemas.ts. Um, I'm going to control C, control shift F, control V. And where is this used is my question. Seems to be used in the uh, creation form. Yeah, that's cool. Um, can I just fix it like that? Cool. Not trying to take over the chat. Hey, please do, I'm glad to see you here. Does Next Blitz require a lot of packages like Node or more like PHP Laravel when there's not as many? It takes a ton of packages at development time, but when you get to runtime, they are mostly shaken out. Receive true for non-boolean attribute. I'm gonna kill the server and restart it. I think I freaked it out when I showed it, when it was uh, control Z, when it was like this, malformed. Control shift Z, which is basically control Y. Quick reminder, you can go to YouTube and see the full screen. Uh, so Sith said, so Sith is said, Sith knee clear, Sith knee clear. Oh, that's awesome, Sith knee clear, thank you. What's going on here? If you want to write to a DOM, receive Boolean attribute in a non-Boolean. Okay, where? Receive Boolean attribute in a global. Okay, where? Is it over here? Let's see if my UI can tell me more. Yeah, here we go. Uh, text did not match rendered HTML. Okay, so you can see basically it took us over to the new page. You see the or so social media contents new. And so I'm, I, um, I actually don't care too much about the new page. I mean, it's right here. So I can look around the markup and see what the issue is. But I don't know that I wanna hunt down and fix this because I'm fine to stay on the list page. And what I wanna do is get my CSV of data to show up on the list page is what I wanna do right now. Although I don't like that this is bugged, but I also don't necessarily care. I'll spend five minutes on this. We'll take a time boxing approach. Received a non-Boolean attribute global. Um, instead write global equals true. So I'm going to look for an attribute literal called global. So I'm gonna control shift F, control V, enter. And you can see that I'm looking for the string literal global equals. I'll go to YouTube soon, just not at my PC. Cool, cool, looking forward to it. Percy, what are you trying to make? What is the code for? So we're making a website that is gonna help us um, make better um, social media content. So whenever I put out like a uh, TikTok video, it also is repurposed over to uh, YouTube and Instagram. 
and I want a single place where I can go to see if it's good or not. Okay, we found we found it, y'all. This is what it's complaining about. Okay, so we found we found it in the time uh, time boxed frame, so that's fine. Um, glo I think I can just say global equals true, right? I think I can just fix it like this. Expected type to come from property global, which is declared. Okay, so I'm going to ask GPT. I've run into this before. The other thing I can do is just delete this. Um, and I can also look up a reference project where I fixed this. So I'm going to control C, control shift F, control V. And I can see that this snippet exists in multiple projects. So what did I do over here? I, it looks like I did nothing. I think I might have twig, tweaked the, um, the TS config. All right. So we are going to um, quickly ask GPT about fixing this. And then I also might just comment it because I don't care. Um, I get this error in my um, Blitz project. It's related to this um, React code. If I update the tag like then I get a different error. Remain low key says, I'm so glad I'm not the only one coding like this with chat GPT. It's taken over for real. Prime says, ask chat. Yup, you know it. You know it. String is not assignable to type Boolean under, you know what? I don't need to ask chat. The answer is right there in the air. Okay. It, I need to use the Boolean true, not the string true. Yeah. Okay. That's all it was. It wants a, it wants a Boolean true. So let me kill the server and restart it. And this time I should not get the error. Have you tried Copilot? Yeah, I have Copilot installed right now. Um, I was also able to persuade my work to pilot Copilot. So it's not fully adopted, but it's piloted. If you are at a company and you need to present a business case to your manager to convince them to allow you to use Copilot, check out my blog, optimality.substack.com. Check out the inch productivity from Copilot. Okay, and this will give you the business case with citations and research. So 55% uh, faster coding, as well as 60 to 75% of users reported they felt more fulfilled with their job. And there's even more stats. So um, I think uh, most companies, especially if your company is already using GitHub like for source control, they should be really friendly to uh, bringing Copilot online. Thanks, for, thanks so much for being here. Over 400 likes, thanks. I bet you can code a video game. Yeah, not like a really complicated one, but a basic one, sure. My company is on board with Copilot. Awesome, glad to hear it. What is Copilot? It's an AI assistant that it's kind of like, a, it, it kind of tries to predict what you're gonna type. like. And it can also, so you see how there's light gray style global JSX. And then that's Copilot wrote that. It's saying, hey, if you want this, hit tab. And then I can, and I can also do stuff like this, like, um, write a function to uh, create a random dog name. Let's see if it'll figure that out. 
It might not because my comments here is weird. Oh, okay, so you see that? Button on click generate random dog name. So I don't actually want that, but you can see what it does. It's trying to predict what you want to type next. Look, this thing is still bogus. Received true for non-Boolean attribute JSX. Oh, okay, it's this other one. Received true for a non-Boolean attribute JSX. So it's an IDE plugin that uses AI. Does it work for all languages? Uh, I think it does not work for all languages. You can just check out um, GitHub Copilot and it'll tell you the supported languages. I've had it write full page of HTML for me. Yep. Thanks for being here, y'all. Hope you'll follow the TikTok and, uh, and check out the YouTube as well. Link is in the bio. I'm trying to get five more YouTube subscribers today. That's my goal. And then I'll be over 500. I have like tens of thousands of TikTok followers and I don't even have 500 YouTube followers. Let's see if Bing figured out how to solve this. Uh, I'm sorry, but I couldn't find any specific issue about solving this. However, I did find uh, where a user added export dynamic and it worked for them. Okay. Um, yeah, this is Oh man, I don't want to go through all these hoops, but yeah, that's basically the, the same issue. I can op open this in Chrome. I can just ignore it. I think it just kind of bugs me at some point. I need to fix it. I just added const dynamic equals force dynamic. And it worked for me. Route segment config. <sighs> Let's see if it can understand the URL. Screen is super blurry. Yep, I agree. Good reason to go over to uh, YouTube, eh? I wish TikTok would let me stream to TikTok, but uh, I can only use my phone, which is kind of a bummer. Layout TSX or page TSX or route TS. So they did page TSX. Let's give it a shot. Um, red, yellow, green, core, pages. I don't actually have a page TSX, do I? Control P, P A G E T S X, route TS. Hmm. What is the other option? Layout TSX. I think I do have layout. Control P, layout. Yep, uh, red, yellow, green layout file. So how do I do this? Just like that. Recompiling. Can you send link? Uh, it's in my bio. Damn, you reply so fast. Thank you so much. Cesar says, John, please, I retires 62. Any chance to enter in V? Not super sure what you mean. Uh, but you can, if you're wanting to chat with me, just check my bio. My guy, I am at YouTube. Thanks, boss. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so it looks like, I don't know, maybe this is working. Let me kill the server and restart it one more time. Your mom's best friend. Welcome, welcome. Uh, okay, what are you making? Um, so that's not HTML, that's React, but it is an HTML-like syntax. But notice this tag on line 10 is like empty. 
So it's not actually HTML. It just kind of looks like HTML. Um, but it's really, it's really JavaScript. So this is a JavaScript function. You ready? OK, cool. Uh, so let me close this, close this. And um, going back to my sort of home page. And I'm still getting this error. Rendering suspense. Ooh, OK. So this is a suspense issue. I'm going to make a GitHub issue so that I don't have to remember this because I won't. OK, so I go over to the Issues tab. When do, you st when do you start this live session? I think it started 20 minutes ago. This is Sith Neekler. What's up? What's up? Thanks for being here. Um, suspense issue. And now I can just move on, right? OK, so what I want to do now is write a seed file. By the way, we're wrapping up in the next five minutes. So I'm going to right click, close others. And we want a seed file, which is a bit of JavaScript that is going to take the CSV and load it into the database. So database index seeds. So I'm going to control A, control C, and I'm going to head over to my friend ChatGPT. Um, consider this seed file. And let me, let me specify TypeScript. Prisma seed file. And I can actually drop the, um, these comments so I can preserve some tokens. It's basically like unimportant information for chat GPT, right? I was on TikTok and came over. Thank you so much. Update this um, file so that it reads records from, and now we need to find the CSV path, which is going to be under the repurpose scraper. OK. So be mindful of the breadcrumbs at the top here. Red, yellow, green is the root folder. Repurpose scraper, CSV. Red, yellow, green, root folder, DB, CDTS. So we need to go up a level and then find the sibling. And so the syntax for that would be dot, dot, slash, repurpose scraper. And uh, in the name of the file, which is initial social data. Update this file so that it reads records from uh, and, sa and saves them to the uh, DB as records. Copying and pasting isn't coding. Uh, it kind of is. <laughs> It kind of is. What product or tool has the most trash docs you have ever seen? Ooh, ooh, this is a fun question. The most trash docs I have ever seen. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It might be something in Python. That's actually a hard question. Uh, I think my worst documentation experience was kind of when Python was going from the two to three upgrade. And I kept getting like um, docs that were like talking about Python, but they sort of assumed two or three and they didn't really tell you. And it was just a really bad time. So I'm going to copy this code, control A, control V, control S.
Enhanced Prisma, I'm clicking, I'm control clicking so that it will take me to the actual type definitions. Uh, I also need to yarn add CSV parser. Yeah, so it's not getting me into my types, is it? This is a bummer. Um, I think I might need to run blitz prisma generate and regenerate the DB client. I can manually go here into the node modules into blitz. Yeah, okay. Um, prisma client. Oh, we got some Dino going on now. Control F and look for social. There it is. Social media content entity does exist here, uh, but it's a capital S appears to be the issue. Let's regenerate the client. Okay, so it's going to read and the file, pipe CSV, and yeah, it's creating a record for each one of these. So that looks good. The only issue is that the social media content um, thing isn't the correct syntax there. Let me look in one of my previous seed files And uh, the import syntax is like this. So it's reading out of the index file. Yep, that was the issue. Um, well, that wasn't that wasn't necessarily the issue. So this is using a dot file, and then previously it was called index, but I think they're synonyms. So prisma dot social. Cool. Uh, does not exist on this. Okay. So now we're in business. Let's see if uh, if it works. So what I want to do now is, man, my VS Code is lagging. Look, hello, hello. I'm going to right click, click and close others. OK, it caught up. I want to inspect my package JSON file. And we want to see control F seed. Uh, I don't see any seed here. So we will look again in um, control P package JSON and another reference project, control F seed, and it's blitz db seed. Drop this after the build command, before the start command, keep it all alphabetical. And now I get to yarn seed. Social media contents is missing the S at the end. No, this is a valid type. You see, I can hover and get the type. So that's just the uh, Prisma convention is, uh, by the way, like this create is going to create a single row, a single entity. So it's a loop that's gonna create them one at a time. Uh, the IDE is VS Code. Do you use chat GPT? Yep. Okay, so look at the route that it picked or the URL. Um, I want to go up one folder less, one folder less. All right, it says done seeding. So let's blitz dev and see if I can look at those juicy records. I'm gonna go here and get these staged feet. Um, 
I'll just call it like that, commit that. Let's go over here to localhost, I'm gonna F5. It might take a minute because I, I killed and reloaded the server, right? Soberman, thank you for the follow. Dynamic server issue, we're aware of that issue already, right? Let me see the list. Cool. Now this might look bad, <laughs> but really these are style issues. Um, you can see all of these records do exist. And if I go to the network tab, they came through the API call. Response, preview, result. You can see all of these are correct. Uh, the issue is that this template is looking for the name property. It wants to write their name down in a bulleted list, but these do not have a name property. Um, let me quickly switch over to the TikTok URL so you can see, but actually this is already a success. So I'm going to control P, social media, and then I'm going to go to the index, which is the list page, and I'm going to control F, N, A, M, E. This is something I just know because I've been working with Blitz for so long. And you can see now you can actually see all these different URLs and they're even clickable. Boop. Cool, right? All right, so that does it for today. A win is a win. A win is a win. I hope you will follow me and also follow the YouTube channel. This is a part three of a playlist and we're gonna be building this whole thing. The playlist is saved on YouTube. So I hope to see you there. Have an excellent, uh, what day is it? Tuesday. Have an excellent rest of your Tuesday.